of these players can win elegant jewelry, a large screen TV, a digital camera, or a luxurious dream vacation. And continue toward cash and prizes, including a brand new car and $50,000 in cash. Total over $100,000 on the line today on Sale of the Century. Now, here's your host, the star of the Sale of the Century, Brandon Scrum. Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Sale of the Century right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join us here once again. We're into our final five episodes of the season, which means everybody is now jockeying for those top three spots, trying to get into our championship game to call themselves the Season 2 champions here on our program. But let's get into today's game and meet our contestants, starting with a newcomer to the to our series for the first time here on Sale of the Century this season. Please welcome in Mr. Marty Bingle. Hello. Played all season long, and Marty's now just joining the party. Well, yeah. better, better late than never, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Never. All right. Uh, from Baltimore, Maryland, Marty, tell me a little bit more about yourself. Yep. From Baltimore, Maryland, currently a college student studying business administration, and uh, right now I'm currently on summer vacation. Fantastic. I'll enjoy that, and good luck to you in the show. And good luck to our second contestant hailing to us from Detroit, Michigan. We've got Aaron with us. Hello. Hey, welcome back, sir. Um, Aaron's been on the show a few times this season, four to be precise, and so far, pretty healthy total on uh, his four showings, $19,270 in cash and prices. Ready to go after that 100000 today, sir? Yeah, hopefully I can try to get back to that bonus round. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Good luck to you, and good luck to our third contestant making his third appearance on the show this season. Now, um, his first two appearances here, he's won himself $15,230 in cash and prizes. James Doe. There he is. Uh, from New Orleans, Louisiana, um, a referee, an official uh, for football there. And um, ready to get to work here, James? Oh, James, you over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, my Discord is acting up, so. Hi. Okay. Well, at least, at least he's with us there in spirit, if nothing I'm else. Alone. <laughs> well, anyway, good luck to all three of you today. Try to win a, try to win a, a, a vault more than seven books. <laughs> Yeah, mm. somebody's going to have a chance to open up that vault. We'll talk about that a little bit later on in our show. But as you know, one of you is going to definitely have a shot at over $100,000 in cash and prizes on our winner's big money board. So let's Ooh. get it, let's get everything started by giving you each $20 in your bank now. Remember, I've got questions. Hopefully you have right answers. If the right answers turn are worth $5 a piece, every incorrect answer you give me is going to cost you 5 Along the way, you'll have a chance to buy bargain price merchandise, a chance at our fame game board, and as James mentioned, one person, one lucky person has a chance to crack our vault, which could pay off up to $10,000 in cash. We'll talk a little bit later about that when we get there, but for right now, let's get our game started here, players. You see your buzzing keys on the screen, so let's Get your hands on those signaling buttons. And we start with our first question of the day for $5. And it is this. Timpani, bass, and slide, or sorry, excuse me. Timpani, bass, and side are examples of what type of instrument? And that's Marty. Drum. Drum is the correct answer. Very good. You're on the board. You've got 25. All right, Denver is the capital of what U.S. state? Aaron. Colorado. Colorado is very is correct. You're up to 25. All right, the Zelotti is the currency from what European country? Is it France, Germany, or Poland? James. Poland? Poland's correct. We got a three-way tie. In the Bible, players, what's the second book of the Old Testament? That's Aaron. Exodus. Exodus is correct. Up to 30. Uh, Joseph Ratzinger. Yeah, Joseph Ratzinger is better known as whom? Uh, 
And that is time. You know him better as Pope Benedict II. Uh, Pope Benedict II not there. Not who I was thinking of. Okay. All right. And with that sound means it's time for our first instant bargain of the day. Remember, a player in the league gets a chance to buy bargain price merchandise. A sales surprise with a cash bonus can pop up at any time. As we look at our scores, Aaron, you have a $5 lead over both Marty and James. Maybe we can interest you in spending that money for this. It's two Samic Electric Guitars. Ooh. Rock out with these great Samic Electric Guitars included, included with amps. This prize package normally valued at $1,999. Yours today on sale the century for just $6. Six bucks for two great electric guitars worth $2,000 in, in value. Aaron, do you play guitar? No, not really. <laughs> Would you like to learn how to play guitar? It wouldn't hurt to learn. Right. Understandable. Well, I'll tell you what. If you want to buy those guitars, it's going to cost you $6. It'll put you into second place by only a dollar. But I'll tell you what. I'll throw in $501 in cash for guitar lessons. So a tw an exactly a $2,500 value for just 6 bucks. Buzz in if you want to buy it. Going once. Going twice. He's going to buy. Mm. All right. All done. And hey, there's a sale surprise with this one. Nice. Well nice. done. Give me that envelope here, if you don't mind, along with the $501 in cash I gave you. Inside, we have another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred $700 in cash more. Wow. All right. All Thanks. right. Well done, sir. That makes that deal of $3,200 there. For just six dollars, that's a hell of a bargain. No matter where you go shopping at, well done. Yeah. And remember, that's yours to keep, no matter what happens the rest of the game. So, it cost you the six dollars. So we took it off your score. Down behind Marty and James with just in one dollar, and we're back with our next question for five. According to the proverb, what is the mother of invention? Mm -hmm. And that is time. Correct answer there is necessity. Necessity is the mother of invention there. So no harm, no foul. We go to another question. All right. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and 17 are all examples of what type of... James? Prime number. What type of number? Prime number is the correct answer. Up to 30. All right, players, what major conflict began on the 25th of June in 1950? And that is time. That is the start of the Korean War. Mm. And with that doorbell, that means either A, somebody's at my front door, or B, it's time for the fame game. Open I'm gonna door. go with I'm gonna go with the ladder because I don't think anybody's out there and I don't have a doorbell, so it must be the fame game time. <laughs> Which means these this next question is not for money, but this is for a pick of our fame game board where we have prizes, surprises, and most importantly our money cards up there. We start as always with a ten dollar money card this time as we look for this famous thing, famous thing buzzing when you think you know it. I am a board game. I was invented in the 1930s. There are many versions of me available worldwide. That's James. Monopoly? Monopoly is the correct answer. Damn it. Off of three clues. Very, uh, very good. Players compete for riches. My name means exclusive control. I cause people to go bankrupt. Played with a game board, dice, cards, and money. I have utilities and my own jail. Monopoly, of course, being the correct answer. And I James, I, I got it off in 1930. I know that. But... There you go. Yeah, I feel oh, old. 1930s. Well, well, way to know your board game history, there, sir. And for that, I reward you with a pick of our fame game board. Nine numbers up there. Which one would you like? Lucky seven. Go on, lucky seven in the corner. Let's see. What do we have behind lucky seven today? And we have the ten dollar money card. Wow. Well. <laughs> well, starting with the clutch finds early on this one. Well done, James. $10 money card is yours. Added to your bank. Up to $40 now with a big lead in the early game. But still plenty of time for you guys to catch up. We'll add a $15 and a $25 money card a little bit later on. Back with this next question for $5, players. In the Bible, the four, the four, the four men who wrote the Gospels are Matthew, Mark, Luke, 
and who? Aaron. John. John is the correct answer. You got up to 29. All right. The franc, the mark, or the rupee? What's the currency of India? Party. I believe that's the rupee. It is the rupee. You have to 30. Well done. All right. The fear of enclosed spaces is commonly known, Aaron? Claustrophobia. As claustrophobia. You are correct. Up to 34. Yes, I have minute claustrophobia. I don't mind being in small spaces. I just can't do it for extended periods of time because I like to move and stretch. And plus, I'm also like six foot four, so I kind of need the room anyway. But a good game going on between our three players. Less than $10 separates all three of them. And we're going to take our first commercial break. We'll be back with more Sale of the Century right after this. So stay with us. Welcome back to Sale of the Century. It's now time for our next instant bargain. Uh, James, we look at you with your $40, and you have a $6 lead over Aaron, $10 over Marty. Maybe I can introduce you to spending some of your extra cash for this. It's a jewelry package. A beautiful set of jewelry here, normally priced at $5,074. Yours today on Sale of the Century for just $10. Wow, producer is being super nice here. Knocked off four dollars off the price of that, dropping it down to six bucks. So if you buy it, you're in a tie with Aaron for the still in the lead. Six dollars is what's going to cost you for over five thousand dollars of elegant jewelry. And I'll tell you what, just because I like you, I'll throw on another five hundred dollars in cash on top of that. Fifty-five hundred seventy-four dollar deal for the cost of six dollars. You'll be still in a tie for the lead. Buzz it if you want to buy it. Going once. Going twice. And no sale. Mm. Did not want the jewelry. Nope. Mm -mm. You didn't want that hotline bling, huh? Nope. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. You keep your lead. You're at 40. Aaron at 34. Marty at 30. And I've got this next question for $5. All right, players. What are Bella, Fizz, Jake, Milo, and Judy, and Max better known as? Oh. And that's time. Apparently, a show no one's seen. The Tweenies. They are the Tweenies. Uh, I never so, heard of it. I, I actually did stump them on one. Win for me. I'll take the $5, please. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, next question. What is the name of Scooby Doo's canine nephew? Marty. I think it was Scrappy. Scrappy Doo is correct. You got it up to 35. Woo. All right, in what town would you find characters called Sportacus, Stephanie, and Robbie Rot? Marty. Lazy Town. Lazy Town is correct. Up to 40 for the lead. All right, can we fix it? Is the catchphrase of which? James. Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder is correct. Up to 45. Damn. <sighs> All right. Baron Silas Greenback was the arch nemesis of what animated superhero? Mm -mm. Uh, this one goes back to my childhood here. He was the arch nemesis of Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse is who he was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it is now time for our second fame game of the day. We ha found the $10 money card right away. We're now adding a $15 money card to the board as we look for this famous place. Famous place, buzz in when you think you know it. I am a North American city. I am full of flashing lights. I was founded as a railway station in 1905. I, I now attract nearly 40 million, visit 40 million visitors annually. My name means the Meadows. I'm the home of and Andre Agassi. What happens here stays here. And that's Aaron. Las Vegas. Las Vegas is correct. Well done. Mm. Yeah, I did not know Andre Agassi lived in Vegas. I had no idea either. Yeah, the first big casino, fun fact, the first big casino opened up there in 1946. 
Yeah. Uh, was it, I was thinking uh, with the flashing lights. I was thinking Vegas, but I wasn't too sure. Yeah. Uh, you never know. Like I said, the anticipation can pay off sometimes. But in this case, it goes to Aaron with a pick of the board, eight numbers up there, and a fifteen dollar money card up there. Where would you like to look? Number two. Looking for the little deuce, and behind number two is a prize. It's a beautiful set of dinnerware. That's valued at $843. All right, so some great dinnerware for you. That's yours to keep no matter what happens the rest of the show. Uh, look at the scores again. James at 45, Marty at 40, Aaron at 34, and back with this next question for five. Seoul is the capital city of what? Aaron? North Korea? No, I'm sorry. Yeah. South Korea. Uh, South, South, South oh. Korea. Right Korea, but wrong. Right Korea, uh, wrong direction. Right Korea, wrong direction. That's right. okay. No harm, no far, foul. It'll cost you five, look, down to 29. What is measured by the Celsius scale? James? Temperature? Temperature is correct. Up to 50. All right. The Magellan Straits link what two oceans? Ooh. Can the Magellan Straits link what two oceans? Mm -mm. And that is time. The two answers are the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean. Mm. Yes. The Panama Canal also links them both as well, but the catch is, though, you have to pay a hefty toll to get through there. And plus, mm. I heard it takes like two hours, so I'm like, I don't want to sit in, at a gate stop for that long, personally. That's just me, though. Nah. But anyway, James, with the lead here, we have more Sale of the Century right after this commercial break. So stay tuned, folks. Back with more Sale of the Century here, a close game between our three players. $21 separate first and third place in this one. We're back with this next question for $5, players. What tissue cord attaches muscle to bone? Uh, uh, and that's time. If I told you it had part of the word of the number that comes after nine in it, would you know it? Ten. Tendon. Yes, it is a tendon. tendon. That's what we're looking for. Uh, All right. No harm or no foul there. We'll go on with the next one. Steve Lynn Jukins is the real name of what famous soul singer? Hmm. Uh -uh. No one knows Mr. Steve Lynn Jukins? You know one of his famous songs is Isn't She Lovely? And that is written by uh, Mr. Stevie, Stevie Wonder. Wonder. Stevie Wonder oh, is what we're looking Wonder. for there. All right. No harm, no foul. We go on to another one. Maybe you get this one. A car registration sticker bearing the initials AUS comes from what country? Aaron. Aust Australia. Australia is the correct answer. You got it. Up to, up to 34. All right. What beer that most people famously think comes from Australia is, is Australian for beer. Mm. And nobody remembers those classic commercials. I'm sorry. It's Foster's. Oh, yeah. yeah Foster's right. Australian for beer. That's right. That's all right. We'll throw that one out. We'll pick up this one instead. Polo is the Italian word for what food? Is it beef? Chicken or fish? Aaron? Chicken? It is chicken. You got it up to 39. Oh, oh. And that sound means <laughs> it is now time for someone to open up the vault. And oh. as we look at the scores, James with $50, you are the lucky man that gets a shot to open up our Sale of the Century vault today. As you know, we have a cash prize in the vault ranging from $1 to $10,000 in cash. For the cost of $15, you can up open up that vault, and whatever's in there is yours to keep no matter what happens the rest of the game. So $15 bucks will actually put you into second place, but only by the value of one question, but it could pay you off up to $10,000.
So if you wanna bu if you wanna crack that vault, all you gotta do is buzz in. Go in once. He's gonna go with the vault. Wow. Give me give me my eight dollar vault. <laughs> all right. Well, come on over here. Just spin that reel and pull that handle. Let's see how much the vault's worth today. Spin the wheel. Wait, do I have to press it? Yes. Spin the wheel. Oh, and open up the vault. It's worth four dollars. <laughs> Yes, I got $4. Yes. It was only... I thought it was. That vault was that half was as much as you out. thought it was. Dang yeah. it, Tiny. Why is the vault always empty half the time? <laughs> Can you please explain that to me? <laughs> Not a word out of him. I'm lucky he ever says even hi to me at this point. But all right, well... <laughs> Not hey. the greatest trade there, James, in the world, but hey, it's four bucks. Uh, you can eat, four, eat. Four, four, four that, that, dollars and I walk away. That's walk a four away. for four meal at Wendy's, so you enjoy yep. that. <laughs> yep. Well, um, cost you the lead, but again, now it makes the game very interesting because five dollars separate all three of our contestants in a very close game here. One more shot at the fame game coming up in a little bit, but right now we have this question for five dollars. Players, what river flows through New York City? That's James. Hudson. Hudson River's right. You got that five right back. And now only one dollar separates all three players. All right. Bogota is the capital city of what country? Is it Colombia, Brazil, or Peru? James. Colombia? Colombia is the correct answer. Up to 45. The song As Time, As Time Goes By is commonly associated with what classic wartime film? Uh... And that is time. Mm -hmm. No one knows this one. Uh, it's a classic film. We always told them to play it again, Sam. Casablanca. Casablanca is what we're looking for there. <laughs> and with that sound, it means it is time for our third and final fame game of the day. We have a $15 money card on the board. We're now adding a $25 money card. So whoever gets this, if you can find that money card, it can give you a distinct advantage going into our speed round. Our final fame game of the day, we are looking for a famous person. Famous person, buzz in when you think you know it. I am a gangster. I was born in America in 1899 and died in 1947. Though raised in Brooklyn, I made Chicago my hometown. And that's Marty. Al Capone. Al Capone is the correct answer. <laughs> well done. Made lot, lots of money during Prohibition. Um, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre ended his competition. Uh, spent out time at Alcatraz for tax evasion. And my nickname, Scarface, is due to the knife cut that happened on his cheek. So, with that said, Marty, seven numbers up there. Two big money cards. There's a wild card. There's some great prizes up there. There's also some other shenanigans. What number would you like? Mm, no pressure at this point. Uh, let's go to number six. Going with number six. And behind the number six, we have $25 money card. Wow, good job, good job. A big fine for Marty, bringing his total now up to $65. And it is now officially the Catch Marty Show as we go into our final <laughs> round, the speed round. May I please have 60 seconds on the clock? Again, rapid fire questions, players, in this one. For each one that you get correct, it is, it'll get you $5. Each one that you miss, it will cost you $5. Remember, the player in the lead at the end of the 60 seconds will be going on to play our bonus round for a chance at over $100,000 in cash and prizes. Now, remember, the clock will not start, and you will not be able to buzz in until I completely finish reading the first question. All right? So with that said, hands on buzzers, players. Good luck. We start the speed round with this. The Super Bowl is the annual championship game for what professional sport? Is it baseball, hockey, football, or basketball? Aaron. Football. Right. What was the traffic cop Don Matthews catchphrase in the TV series Highway Patrol? Beam me up, Scotty. Let's be careful out there. 99 or 10-4. 
James. 10-4. Right. By what name is sodium chloride more commonly known? Ketchup, pepper, mustard, or salt? Time. What four letters can go before vision and phone? Is it info, zap, James? Tony. Right. What replaced David Letterman as the host of NBC's Late Night? Conan O'Brien, Jay, Marty. Conan O'Brien. Right. Which of these is not a New England state? Vermont, Connecticut, Massachusetts, or New Jersey? Aaron. Vermont. Wrong. Finish the name of this restaurant chain. International House of what? James. KK. Right. What is the name of the headquarters for the U.S. Department of Defense? The Octagon, Hexagon, James. Hexagon. Right. And that's time. Marty wins the yeah. game by five. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, God. That $25 money card came through in the clutch and gave Marty just yep. enough to pick up good his game, first win game. here on the show. Well done. Go back to the couple right. questions you guys did not get. By what name is sodium chloride more commonly known as? That is table salt. And uh, last time I checked, Massachusetts was a New England state. However, New Jersey was not. Jersey was uh, not that one, but that's okay. We got to say goodbye to our other contestants. Aaron, you did very well for yourself today, sir. You picked up that dinnerware. You also got the cash in front of you multiplied by 50, along with um, that additional $1,200 in cash that you want in that um, opening instant bargain. You leave us here now with a season total today of $25,263. Well done. Thank you. All right, well done. And for you, James, you did pretty well for yourself today as well. Uh, I don't think you picked up anything additional to what you had there, but we'll multiply the cash in front of you by 50. I got the $4. Yep, and you did get the $4 <laughs> from the bank. We'll make sure we put that into your total. That brings you now up to a season total of $18,484. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you for being for having me here. All right. And congratulations, Marty. That twenty-five dollar money card came through in the clutch, gave you the win. Yeah. You got seventy yeah. bucks in your bank. We're gonna see if you can turn that seventy dollars into over a hundred thousand dollars in cash and prizes as we play mm -hmm. our winners big money board. We'll do that right after this here on Sale of the Century. Stay tuned. Uh -huh. Welcome back to Sale the Century. Marty with a clutch victory in the speed round gives him makes him today's winner. He didn't pick up any bonus prizes or cash throughout the show, sir, but this is where you definitely get the winning done as we head to our winners and big money board. Are you ready? Ready. All right, well, come on over here. Let's play that big Sale the Century round. Come on. All right, Marty, welcome to our winner's big money board. Let's take a look at all the prizes you have a chance to win on today's Sale of the Century. And they are the following. For $80, you can win a queen-size bed and sleep set worth $5,754. For $190, you can win a jet ski worth $6,127. For $200, you can win a pool package worth over $7,000. Nice. For $310, you could win a petite grand piano worth over $9,000. For $420, you could win a Ford Taurus LX worth $21,637. For $530, you could win a trip to France worth $23,616. For $640, you win the cash prize of $50,000. And for $750, you win all the prizes on the board for a grand total of $123,357 today on sale of the century. Nice. All right, sir. Here's how this round works. For every $10 you got in the main game, we're going to give you a $1 head start. You finish with 70 bucks, so we're going to put $7 into your bank. Now, yep. you get five picks of our game board up here. We have cash amounts ranging from $5 all the way up to $250. Get to $750 in five picks or less. You're walking out of here with over $123,000 in cash and prices. Get some help from the audience, or you can pick them all by yourself. The choice is up to you, but either way, you have the final decision. So when you're ready, start picking. Good luck to you. All right. Uh, let's start out with number six. Number six. Let's see. Our <laughs> way behind number six. Two hundred and fifty dollars. A good start. 
Yeah. <laughs> Number six was the one that got him the victory. The same game. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not. I said no. Hmm. Uh, let's go with number 22. All right, number 22, pair of ducks. What do we have there? $250. Oh, my God. Now, Marty, I will tell you, there are at least three hundred, three $250 spaces on the board. If you can find the other one up there, you're yes. walking out of here with all the cash and prizes. Perfection. Oh, okay, this is the question. Number four. Going with number four. Looking for some big, big number. Behind number four, what do we have? $30. All right, you have to 537. All right, number 12. Going with number 12. Left side of the board, another for 250 is what he would like to see. Mind number 12. Okay. Five dollars. Mm. All right, that means you have one more pick. You need two. You need two hundred and eight dollars, sir, or better. So basically, the other two hundred and fifty dollars spot up there will get you that win. You don't have to give it to me, do you? Mm. Let's go with nineteen. Going number nineteen. Hopefully you find the big money up there. Let's see. Number 19 is $200. Oh, oh, no pressure. So close. You are $8 off, sir. All right. So with $742 in your bank, that means you can walk out of here with that cash prize of $50,000 in cash. However, and this is a very gutsy however in this case. Yeah. I have one more decision for you to make. Mm -hmm. Stop and take the $50,000, walk out of here with that, plus some bo more bonus cash on top. Or you can pick one of these two envelopes. One has a second chance card, one has a lose half card. If you find the second chance card, you get one more pick of the board. Which basically means as long as you pick anything that's not a $5 card, you're walking out of here with $123,000 in cash and prizes. However, mm -hmm. the other card has a lose half. If you find yeah. the lose half card, you're going to lose half the money in your bank, and you're going to drop down to about $371, give or take. So the choice is ultimately yours, sir. Stop and mm -hmm. take the fifty grand in cash you've got now, or risk it and possibly losing half by picking one of the two envelopes. What do you want to do? You know, some... There are a bunch of numbers up there that could get me the lot. I'm going to pick an envelope. He's going for it. He's definitely gutsy. Best of luck to you, sir. Which envelope's got the second chance card? Is it A or B? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to do any medium at this point. Um, let's go with B. Letter B. Letter B. We have not had much luck with this second chance game as of late. Let's oh. hope today's the day we turn it all around. What's an envelope B? Come on. Ah, I lost half. Sorry. Uh, well, Marty, you, you went for it, and I admire your guts there, but unfortunately that cost you a over fifty thousand in prizes, but you still finished with three hundred seventy-one dollars in your bank, and that is good mm. enough for the petite grand piano that's worth over nine thousand yeah. dollars. So that is a not a bad price to take home. It leaves you sixty-one dollars in your bank as well as well. So we're gonna add multiply that by a hundred, give you another six thousand one hundred dollars in cash in one. And Marty, in your one episode here on our show, you've walked away here with fifteen thousand two hundred eighty-six dollars in cash prizes. Well done, congratulations. Yeah. Hey. Uh, so close to uh, giving away another lot winner this season, but unfortunately just didn't happen this time out. 
But anyway, we'd like to thank all of our contestants for playing today. Thank you guys at home for watching another fun-filled episode of Sale of the Century. Remember, if you like the series and want to see more of it, all you got to do is click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. Help me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal by the end of 2019. But in the meantime, between time, until we go instant bargain hunting once again and give someone else a shot at over $100,000 in cash and prizes, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time for more Sale of the Century. Take care. Bye for now, folks. All the prizes used on Sale of the Century are manufacturer suggested retail price accurate as of time or taken. This is Michael Gentry speaking. Sales of the Century is an MGG production.